so um, I'm Jazz, I'm a content creator here at The Seven Effect um, and today I'm going to show you how to post at the ideal time and how to utilise stories correctly to generate more views and likes. So first of all, you want to be posting on Instagram and Facebook at a time when most of your followers are going to be online and it's actually a way to find out what time that is so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first I'm going to show you how to do it on um, Instagram. But you need to make sure that you have a business account. So I'll just quickly show you how to turn it into a business account just in case you don't know how to, which is fine. It's super easy to do. So what you do is you just go to your profile here, tap on these buttons, this button here, settings, account, and then you want to switch to professional account. And it will come up with um, the category that you want your business to be in. So you just select that. That should be fine. Uh, change it to business, not creator, I mean, up to you, and voila. So, to check uh, what time what time your followers are most likely going to be online, you want to go to your page, you want to go up here, insights, and you want to go to your audience here, so select that, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will have your most active times displayed here. And you can switch through the days like this. So say you want to post on a, on a, let's go to Tuesday. So you want to post on a Tuesday. What time is best to post on it? It's saying that 6 p.m. is around the time that you have your most followers online. So you'll want to post at 6 p.m. On your, on your Instagram account. On Facebook, it won't be, the, it's a little bit different. So I'll show you how to do that on Facebook. So you want to go to your Facebook here, um, and you want to go to your you want to go to your business uh, account here. I'm showing you. You want to go down to this left side column, and you want to go to insights. So once you're insights, you will want to click on posts. Um, sometimes it doesn't want to open when I click it, and if that happens to you, that's fine. Facebook's been a bit dodgy lately. Um, so just right click and open link in your tab, and it'll come up here. Don't mind all the other tabs that I have open. Um, so this will take you to here, and as you can see here, it shows you uh, when your viewers are most likely going to be online. And it's um, important to note that this is in these times are shown in the Pacific time zone, so it's not Adelaide time, so you will need to convert it. So here it's saying 4am is when most of our followers are going to be online. So all you're going to do is open a new tab and you say 4am Pacific time zone to Adelaide time. And so say 4am Thursday on a Pacific time zone is 8.30pm in Adelaide. And so then you know that 8.30pm is the best time to post on your Facebook account. So once you've found your ideal time to post to Instagram or Facebook, you're going to post at that time and then you're going to promote it. So by prom you're going to promote it by adding it to your story. Because this is going to really help your viewers see your posts. So um, I'm going to give you an example. So I'm at the 7 Effect uh, page. We're going to promote this reel here. So we're going to click, click here, add reel to story. Now you don't want to just leave it like this. You want to put some GIFs, some writing or something over the top of it. Because as you can see here, this reel is actually very, um, this reel is actually very short. And so it's going to show the entire thing on the story. So your viewer is going to watch it on your story, they're not going to watch it on the actual Reels page, which means you're not going to get that view. And if they're not on that Reels page, they're probably not going to give you a like because they're watching the entire thing on your story. So you want to um, entice them into actually clicking on the post. So we're going to go into here and add a GIF saying, new Reel. Or actually, we're going to, we're going to do new post because this doesn't have to be real, it could be a photo or anything. So we'll put new post. Um, select this one, put it up here so it doesn't see any, so you don't really see much writing, and then we'll get a watch now. We'll click, we'll click this one. 
watch now. And then maybe you want to put some arrows on there. Um, we'll choose this one. Nice, bright and colourful. Um, so then we have it like this, and then you want to add it to your story. And it will add it to your story. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to share your post on Facebook, which is unfortunately a little bit trickier. I don't know why Facebook has just been a bit crap of late. Um, so here is some effect page. Search that, and then you want to go straight to posts. And it will show you the most recent post that you posted. So this should work. Um, and then you want to click on here and go to share. And you want to share to pages story. So you want to go to sound effect. And there you are. And so then you want to put some more GIFs on there. GIFs, uh, new post. We'll put that there to cover it so they actually have to click on it to see what it is. Um, now there is another feature that Facebook Story has which is quite cool. Um, if you go to here, you can actually add a link to that story. Um, you can only do this on Instagram if you have 10,000 followers, which is very annoying, but you can still do it on Facebook. So this is not something you have to do, this is just like a little bonus tip, um, just so that you know for future reference that you can do this. So this post is about Freedom Fest, which, by the way, if you haven't got your ticket, you better get it for the 30th because then you get the chance to win the VIP Grand Freedom Upgrade. So, but it's not promotion. Um, so this, is a, this post is about the Freedom Fest. So we're going to add a link to Freedom Fest, the Freedom Fest website. So freedomfest.com.au and then we'll visit link. Just um, just to make sure it's the right link, because sometimes my might accidentally put it in wrong. Yep, it's the right link, so I could click over that. I'll do add. Um, so now people can only access this link if they swipe up. So you probably want to, you can add a GIF that says swipe up. So you could do this, swipe up. Um, you might have to play around with it a bit, it's a bit annoying sometimes, that's okay. We'll just get that new post thing back up here. And maybe you want to add some writing. So we'll go here, so swipe up to get your ticket to freedom. And you can play around with the text if you want. Um, there's lots of things you can do. And so then you will add that to your short story, share to story. Um, and so that's how you do it on Facebook. So my challenge for you is to find out when your followers are, when most of your followers are going to be online and then post at that time. I then want you to share it to your story. Um, you can do this on Facebook and Instagram or you can just choose one or the other, that's fine. But you need to do at least one of them. And then I want you to screenshot the story and I want you to comment that screenshot in the comment section down below of this video so that everyone can see what you're doing. And um, yeah, so I'll see you with the next video.